Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Influx, the optimum sound effects library. Now available. Check the link in the description. Make sure to download this project file from my official website. I am continuously adding more new cool features to my website. Yes, you heard it right. I am doing it by myself by using Wix.com. With the help of Wix.com, it is much easier now. I don't have to learn about coding. I simply added the elements, by using drag and drop. Did some adjustments, so that it will look exactly what I wanted. And done. I am that kind of person, who likes to do his work on his own. And Wix.com gives me the flexibility, I can change anything, anytime I want. You can learn more about Wix.com, visit the link in the description. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it, Love in Air. As always, I am using the 1920, by 1080 resolution. With a frame rate of 60, just to make the animation smoother. And my duration is 10 seconds. The first step is to create a new solid layer, I am calling it background. And the size is the same as my composition. I'm using this, symbol of love color. You are free to choose any color you want. Now import this texture file into your project. You can download it from the link in the description. Place it below this background layer. Now select this top layer, and change its blending mode. You can always switch to the mode by pressing F4 key on your keyboard, or click here, to toggle between. Cool, now click here, and change the mode to color burn. It will look like this. We need to scale the texture. Select this texture layer, and open scale. Now change the scale value, so that it should cover the entire frame. Also, I am placing it somewhere here. Select this background layer, and open opacity. Change the opacity value to 30%, and now we have this nice pinky background. Minimize both layers to get some room. Now create a new text layer, and use your own word to type. By the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. Align it to the center. And then right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it text comp, and then hit OK. Now open this text comp, select the text layer, and then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the zoom away preset. This is an inbuilt preset of After Effect, you don't have to download it from anywhere. Apply it onto the layer. And this is how the animation is going to happen, but this is not what we are looking for. We need to reverse it. So let's fix it. Press U to open keyframes. Select both keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select time reverse keyframe. This option will reverse the animation, and it will make the text appearing. Let's place the first keyframe on 15th frame position, and then check the animation, it's a little faster. Place this last keyframe, on 2 second position. The more the distance between keyframes, the slower the animation will be. See, this looks better now. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, and easy ease them. Switch back to the main timeline, and now we are moving to the next step. Make sure your text layer is selected, then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the CC radial fast blur. Apply it onto the layer, now grab this center point, and place it beyond the frame. 
I am placing it to the left top corner. Cool. Now change the amount value to 35. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the levels. Apply it onto the layer, and follow my steps. Change channel to alpha, and then grab this slider from the right, and place it to the left. Make sure to keep the distance from the left line, else it will show up some black overlay. Cool, this is enough. But we can see the soft edges. We need to fix it. Search for the curve effect, in effects and the presets tab. And apply it onto the layer. Change its channels to alpha as well. Click on the center, and then drag this line from this point. It will fix the soft edges problem. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the transform effect. Apply it onto the layer. And then, change the skew value to negative 15. Of course you can use anything you want, or even add a skew axis. But I'm going with the default setting. Add another effect to it, it is called hue and saturation. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the master lightness value to negative 20. Cool, select all effect, and then minimize them. Now, make a duplicate of this text comp layer. I am calling it text bump. We don't need hue saturation for this layer, so I am deleting it. Also, we don't need CC radial fast blur, levels, as well as curves. We only need transform. Let's apply some bump to it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC glass. Apply it to the layer. And this may look disturbing for the first. But this can be fixed. You just need to place it before the transform effect. Looks better now. Let's do some adjustments. Open surface, and change the bump map to text bump. Keep the softness 20. And change the height value to 10, also change the displacement value to 10. Cool. Now open light and change the light intensity to 300. Open shading, and change the metal size to 30. Everything will remain the same here. Now we are going to use the light direction, for animating it. But first, adjust the light height, so that the text should not be too bright. Let's place this light direction to the left, my value is negative 116 degrees. It's time for the motion. Go to the 2 second position, and add a keyframe to the light direction. Now go to the 4 second position, and change the light direction value, so that it will reflect on the right side. Exact value will be 116 degrees. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC light sweep. Apply it onto the layer, and it will create this nice looking shine effect. We are going to animate it with the light direction. But first, we need to see where are the keyframes, of the light direction. Press U, to open keyframe, go to the last keyframe position, and place this center point to the right. And then add a keyframe on center. Now go to the first keyframe and place this center point to the left. Cool. Now we have this nice looking light animation. Let's go to the center of these keyframes, and then adjust the look of this light sweep. Change the width value to 100. And change the sweep intensity to 50. You can always play with the settings, if you want a different look. Cool. We can also use, the After Effects lights for achieving the same look. Let's move to the next step. Minimize this layer to get some room, now select this text comp layer, and make a duplicate of it. Select this bottom layer, and I am calling it text shadow. This layer will be used to create shadow of the text. Let's remove hue saturation from this layer, now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fill effect. Apply it onto the layer, 
Now we are going to remove other unrequired presets from this layer. Let's delete the levels, and curves. Now select this CC radial fast blur, and place it below this fill effect. Also, change the amount value to 80. Now change the fill color of it, instead of putting a random color, I am using the same red color of the text. And making it a bit darker. Cool, but this shadow is not dark enough. So go to the effect tab once again, and this time search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer, and it will look more acceptable. Also, change the blending mode of this layer to multiply. So the shadow will merge with the background nicely. Cool. Let's add some particles to it. Create a new solid layer. And I am calling it particles. I am using this red pink color for it. Place it on top of all layers. Now again go to the effects and the presets. And search for the CC snowfall effect. Apply it onto the layer. And adjust a few values. Change the flakes size to 500, change the size value to 15. Also, I am going to change the speed value to 150. Cool. Make sure to uncheck this composite with the original. And now we have these nice particles falling down. Cool. Now I am going to add a small zoom in effect. You can do it easily. Create a new null object. And call it zoom in. We are going to parent all layers, with this null object. Select all layers, except the zoom in layer, and then grab this pick whip, and drop it on zoom in layer. You can of course parent them from this option. But I found the pick whip is more cool. This step is important, go to the first frame, select this zoom in layer, and open scale. Now add a keyframe on it. Go to the last frame position. And change the scale value to 110%. Select both keyframes, right click on it, and easy ease them. Check the animation, and it should look like this. Let's animate this long shadow as well. Go to the one and half second position and then select the text comp. Go to the effects control window, and in the CC radial fast blur effect, add a keyframe on the amount. Press U, to open keyframes, and place this keyframe on 3 seconds. Now change the amount value to 0. Here you can see this long shadow is now moving. Now select both keyframes, and easy ease them as well. Ramp preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description.